<laughs> okay, so you watched the uh, sneak peek of the Bambino, and here's the real thing. Hey, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and this is the latest machine on the market from Breville. And of course, it's no different than any of their other products. They put a lot of research and development into this, and this thing has features for a entry-level espresso machine far more than most machines. So let me go over it. First off, it's got a 64 ounce water tank right back here. That is a huge water tank for a machine of this size, very big. A nice stainless steel casing like most of the Breville products. And look at that, when I took that out, it knows the water is not present and it won't let you use the machine. That's pretty nice, quite like that. Cup warmer right up here. This machine has their special system of heating up. It's like a, eh, it's, a it's similar to a thermal coil. It is ready for you in three seconds. When you turn this on, three seconds later you can use it. Obviously your portafilter isn't going to be hot, so you might want to run a couple of blind shots through it to, with that hot water just to heat up the portafilter to get it going. Two programmable buttons, or you can use these manually uh, on and off. You can adjust the temperature of the foam, uh, the milk, the temperature of the milk, and then also you can uh, adjust the, t uh, the amount of foam that you're going to get as well, right here. So if you go one, two, and three, and number one is gonna be the least amount of foam, and two is moderate, and then up to the top would be more foam. And the same with the temperature. Number one is low, uh, number two is what they call just right, and then number three would be a little bit warmer. So that's adjustable. How does it know how hot the milk is? Well, when you put your frothing pitcher in here and then push it down, you set it on this sensor. This is a sensor that senses the temperature of the milk and it will automatically shut off when it gets to the whatever temperature you've programmed it for. And look, it knows that it's out here versus in place and ready to go. It has a 54 millimeter uh, portafilter and these are um, pressurized baskets, both of them. This does not come with a non-pressurized. So this is going to be easier for the beginner to use because it's more foolproof if your grindier coffee isn't right on. And while we're over here, it comes with a tamper. It comes with the razor that's exclusive to, I think it's exclusive to Breville that you use on the top of the coffee to level it off. And then you're always gonna have the same amount of coffee in the portafilter. It also comes with a frothing pitcher, like all the Breville machines do. And it's nice, min and max, tells you what to do. Cleaning tablets and the disc that you use for performing your cleaning process as well. And that is all in the manual that comes with the machine and it has a quick start guide on it, talks about the warranty, all of your literature also comes with it. So, really nice. You know, you don't, the only trouble is, what kind of accessories are you gonna buy for the person who has this machine when it comes with mostly everything? You'll figure something out, right? Let's see, what else? Drip tray right down here that comes out of the machine, just like that, and comes apart for easy cleaning. It's got the little floater device that when this gets full, it's gonna pop up and warn you so that you don't end up wearing it all over yourself like I do sometimes. Get in there. And let's see, what else? I think um, that's about it as far as the functionality of this machine. It will do an auto descale, the cleaning. Uh, it's just unbelievable. You Oh, pre-infusion. It has pre-infusion and wait time and then brew time. And when you use it from the factory in the factory settings, that's all preset. Or you can set these for what you want to by programming it. And that's all in that manual that I showed you. So I say, what's left? How many holes in that? Four hole steam tip, quite nice. I'm gonna get some milk. We've got some Dancing Goats coffee going on here and we're gonna brew a eh, latte. How about a latte? So stick with me, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so we've got our coffee all ground up. We've got our milk in here. I've got this set to the highest temperature when it comes to milk and I have it set to the most foam. And then when we get done, 
and I take this and lift it up and then I wipe it off and I put it back down, it will actually purge itself as well. Like that. Oh, and it's making some foam. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a lot of foam. It's way up here. <laughs> Okay, it's done, and it is hot, because when I felt it, look at, oh, look at the foam on this. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's great, we like that, because then it won't get clogged up. And when it gets clogged up with milk, it doesn't work. Okay, it's ready to go for the for the uh, coffee. And by the way, pre-infusion, like I said, wait time. And this is going to make two ounces of coffee. And if you push the one in the factory settings, it's going to make about an ounce of coffee. So, um, what was I going to say? Pre-infusion, wait time, brew time. About the only thing this doesn't do is grind and tamp and come on in the morning for you. Wow, that's a nice looking shot. Oh, a lot of foam here. Hey, I should have been stirring that in, you know, like I always do. This is going to be a lot of foam. Too much foam for latte art. But hey, great cappuccino. I don't do latte art anyway, as you know. It was a little mini one. <laughs> Cheers. Whoa, 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 whoa. If you like it hot, that is hot. For those people that want a really hot drink, I'd probably kick that back a notch, like they said, to the ideal situation in the middle. Woo, woo. Very hot and very good, actually. The taste is really quite nice. So that is the Bambino from Breville. Check it out on our website. It is a small, compact machine that has a lot of functionality. And, um, you know, it isn't going to break the bank either. Uh, great for an apartment, a small apartment, or any small situation, a boat. You know, anything like that. RV. Check it out on our website. And don't forget to leave some comments down below and let us know what you think of the Bambino. Thanks a lot for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.